we're now going to have a look at converting the standard port low water times to our secondary port. And the process is very similar to that which we use the high water. We need to refer to this table over here, in particular this, these two columns here under low water. And the first thing I would recommend you do here is copy those details down. So here if low water is at midnight or at midday, the difference is you subtract 10 minutes. If the low water is at 6 in the morning or 6 in the evening, then the difference is you take away 20 minutes. And again, if uh, the times happen to fall exactly or close to these times, then that's nice and easy. However, in most cases, it's going to be somewhere in between. And if we're mindful to have that level of position, this is the process. So we've copied this information over here. We can now just do our calculations on this sheet. Now, the first thing to see is that our first low water of the day was at two in the morning or just after two in the morning. So that is between midnight and six in the morning. So we're going to set out this triangle in that way. We're going to start down here at midnight, zero, zero. I'm going to work forward hour by hour, one o'clock at two o'clock, three o'clock, four o'clock, all the way to six o'clock. Now, if it was midnight, the adjustment was subtract 10. If it was six in the morning, it was subtract 20. Now, because there's a difference of 10 between these two numbers, I'm going to put this uh, subtract 20 on the 10th line here. So subtract 20. And then each of these divisions here is going to be nice and neat. It's going to represent one minute. So that's subtract 12, subtract 14, and so on. So you can see the flexibility of having this scale that you can use different lengths of. Now, the low water time was actually at uh, 2.20. So that's worth noting when we first draw on the line that links up 6 o'clock in the morning to its adjustment of 20 minutes, and then go parallel to that until we get to about 2.20. So we're looking at this scale here. I think 2.20 is about there. So I come down, and I can see that I'm reading off there 14 minutes before. So for the first low water time, my adjustment is I'm going to take away 14 minutes. That takes me to 2.06 UT. If I need to make a daylight savings time adjustment, which I do need on this date, I then add my hour then. I'll run through that a second time for the low water in the afternoon. So this time it's 3 o'clock in the afternoon. So it's going to be between midday, where the adjustment's 10 minutes earlier, or 6 o'clock in the evening, where it's 20. So if it was 12 midday, or work forward an hour at a time, if it was 12 midday, the calculation, the adjustment would be the same as before, working up one minute for each of these divisions. Again, we'll join the two ends. So at six o'clock, its adjustment was subtract 20. We need to note that this is 9.30, 9.30, apologies, three, uh, five minutes past three, five minutes past three is about there. Come across here. Five minutes past three is there. I think that adjustment is, we subtract 15. Now with time, you'll note again that these are very, very similar um, triangles and you may well be able to reuse the first one to do the second calculations by replacing those numbers. However, for the point of practice, I've done them separately here. So the difference we need to make here is we need to subtract 15 minutes which makes our time in UT 14.50. And now we add the hour, 15.50. So now we have a full set of tied times for our stamp secondary port.